Good morning, everybody. The time is 6.55 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Here is a daily chart on the S&P 500. Once again, starting with another gap up. Now, this market is so overbought, and everything is based on if this tax deal is going to play. One thing I want everyone to know is this. I want people to know just how overbought that this uh, index is, and it is, so let's see if I can't drag and drop it. Okay, so under this number right here, this number right here is a monthly percent DS. On the S&P 500, we hit 98.4. Now, on the NASDAQ composite, it's 98.27. The NASDAQ 100 is 97.98, and it was up there. The Dow Jones was way up here, and that is what we call a monthly percent DS that signals what the extreme is on these markets. Here is the weekly percent DSs, um, and we're, you know this is off the chart at 95.8. This uh, Nasdaq 100 is at 97.18 on a weekly, and then we have a 96.25 overbought on a weekly chart and we have almost a 25 year low being put in on the VIX. The fear indicator is down here. So we've already got this. We're going to be going over our positions. I just want people to understand that this monthly overbought market based on this indicator, a public indicator that gives the signal when we've gone to extremes and we totally have. And you can't buy the highs, but once again, they've been gapping it up. They've been taking the headline news, and they've been really super getting super overbought at 98.4 on that S&P 500. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a few other uh, things that have been happening as far as equity prices and options go. All right, the bull market is extremely overbought on a monthly percent DS, and equity prices are as well. So we know what everything is as far as the bull and the bear, and that's exactly what it is. We've gone parabolically up in high-frequency trading technologies that are used that replace the human, and this is the high right here. So we have a gap on a daily, and we have another gap. And it looks like we put in the 2608. And this is live intraday. And we can see how they've just been gapping this up and how that bull is being manipulated to get these prices up here at the extreme overbought levels. And we'll talk more about this later and everything is news driven event at the moment so once again the um s p 500 this is the daily chart um and we'll come back to this right now i pulled up the s p 500 these are the put side of this market and it's to 2610 and it's a monthly expiration december uh, 15th and they've been marking this tape down on this side of the market, and that's a 2610. Another one that I'm going to go over is the 2605. And once again, the 2605, and we own the 2605, and it's been completely marked down. You can see uh, everybody, if you've never traded with uh, a call chart and a put chart, 95% of the people haven't. So they don't even know how to use it. It was $49 up here. And today's low on the 2605, the today's low is $15.30. We're going to go to the 2600, and these are the expirations of the 2600, and we're completely marked down on the S&P on the put side of the market. So I'm going to blow this up, and I'm going to zoom to that in, and I'm going to show how lopsided this market is. The put side hits 1340 from $50 over here straight down 
that's the 2600. Here's the 2695. And just remember that these expirations are uh, December 15th, and they've totally taken this market. We can see how lopsided it is on this side of the market on the S&P 500 put charts. And that one's a 2595. So basically, um, this is what happens when markets go parabolically up. Here, here is a 2690 put that was up here. And we can see for the amount of days, we're totally deflated on this side of the market. And we are. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a, a call chart, which is the opposite. And these calls are way up here. They're super inflated. And I want people to understand that these contracts, there's a 2695 call and they're skyrocketing. It's impossible for these to stay up there mathematically. And we'll go to the 2600 call, which it too has gone parabolically up. And this is the call side of the S&P 500. I'm going to go to this 2605 again. And I'm putting that 2605 call. This is the call side of the market. Just the opposite that I said a minute ago. That means that we're so uh, deflated and inflated when we look at where these markets are. And I showed everyone. But this is the call side of a 2605 call that's gone parabolically up. Okay, I'm going to conclude the morning trade. And I'm going to conclude that I showed the put charts and I did, you know, here's a 2605. You can see the put side of the market going straight down and it has been. And that means that we're looking at other entries to get short on the S&P 500.